It's time to step away from the music for a moment and into the mind of the high school coaches and players for our local school. Here is Caleb Burgraff with a look at high school sports through the eyes of the men and women who take to the field or the court each and every night. Caleb Burgraff joined here with Kyle Dursteller from the Soda Springs baseball team. And Kyle, you are coming off of what may be one of the best pitching performances of the season for the team at this point in time, a two-hit shutout against Chalice Mackey on Saturday afternoon. Talk a little bit about how that game felt for you getting out there onto the mound and being able to perform that way. I just uh, stayed focused. I didn't lose my mind on what I was doing, didn't focus on anything other than just pitching. You really had some good defense behind you in the game as well. Did that help when you felt the team was picking you up when there were some trouble spots? Yeah, a lot. The defense behind us is getting better a lot, like quicker this year than it was last year. It's uh, progressing a lot faster. Looking back at the performance before that one, you pitched against Marsh Valley, had a little bit of a rough outing. Were you happy to have the back-to-back -back performances and be able to go back out on the mound right away in the next game and be able to try and make up for that? Yeah, that was my goal was to make up for that game, actually. Looking forward now, you guys have a busy week of games this week. You have Glens Ferry where you're going to have four games to play, plus a game at Firth on Tuesday. What's the difference for you guys as a team when you have to adjust to going from a game where you had or a week where you had very few games to a week where you have a very busy schedule like this staying healthy it's all on your mind too <laughs> always can be the case when you think about for a third team that you guys could be seeing later on in the postseason is that something that excites you when you get to see a team like that that has quality early on in the year yeah last year i think they beat us and i kind of don't want to lose against them this year <laughs> definitely some motivation to go through there into that game and then when you look at glenn's ferry a long road trip a lot of games in a couple of days does that prepare you guys for the state tournament all and how do you take preparation like that to move forward i sleep a lot and it does help for the state tournament because the games in a row like how many there is and i just keep my mind where i want it looking forward to a couple more things to talk about practices you guys are actually getting out onto the field now do you expect the team's improvement to take leaps and bounds forward now not that you guys were playing poorly but do you expect to, the team's improvement to really take some of those jumps forward now that you guys are out of the gym and actually being able to get onto the field yeah we can't go back and finally goals for this year you're a young kid yourself you're a sophomore what are some of the things that you set for yourself this year and especially now that you're going to be one of the kids that's looked to in the pitching rotation just to keep my mind good, not put myself down, just to keep myself up, focus on what I want to do. Kyle, thank you so much for the time. Good luck as you guys continue to prepare for Glens Ferry and Firth this week, and thanks again for the time. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for this look into our local high school sports. If you missed part of this interview, you'll find an archived recording at mylocalradio.com. And don't forget, you can watch every play of every game we broadcast once again at mylocalradio.com.